This video is to demonstrate how to make changes to the settings or options for the program. Uh, command comma is the shortcut to take you there. On Windows if you go um, with the mouse up to the top of the screen, click on tools, you'll see options available there so you can click there to get to this same window. If I click on mouse what you'll see normally is that double click it'll be like that. So I would change those across and I'll explain why in just a mo. The other thing to do is click on tag tree parameters, scroll down to the bottom and make sure all the hyperlinks have a tick next to them. Okay, first stage done. Click close. Say okay, that's fine. So what you'll see is, or should be, that you have some cross references <coughs> that take you to different parts of the repertory there. See under, so these are sort of synonym rubrics and here these are cross references. So what you might find if they're not there just check this one needs to be <coughs> enabled. Okay that's your tags as it were. Uh, with the same you can show and hide remedies and authors. Okay, so these are quite useful buttons up here in the repertory view. The cogwheel is also really useful. If you go in here you'll be able to also say you need to make sure that expand cross references is available and expand rubric synonyms. Okay, and show the tags. Alright, so generally speaking <coughs> on every window of the program you have a cogwheel. So if I go to search, there's also one here. And this is where you can define whether you want to search with synonyms by default and with roots and branches. So that's different <coughs> grammatical forms of the word. So if I search for um, anger, for example, clicking on this little blue icon there shows me that I have roots and branches already selected and synonyms. So we've gone over that in a previous tutorial but this is where you would change those settings always with the cogwheel. You can also change the default search location here so you can look in all documents, all repertories, all references etc. You can, you can click on these tabs here and more preferences okay so have a play with that, always check the little cogwheel no matter which window you're in. <clears throat> this rubber icon's useful, that clears the search. Um, you can also do it with Command X. Command W closes the window. So the next thing I want to show you briefly is um, how to add a new patient and save their case and, you know, complete with analysis so it's all in one place. There's various other ways of saving that can be a bit confusing. So this is good practice, you know your patient walks in, you press command N and you type, uh, you hit the return key and you give it a name or you give the person their real name of course. Um, and that's it. Click on the disk icon and it's saved. Okay, so then, you know, when you open the patient list, you'll see your patient there. <clears throat> That's it for when you're recalling the case. Uh, now, if I go to consultations, I can start adding symptoms. Okay, so that's really strong symptom. I can give it a weighting here. So, for example, three. Um, also have a fear of failure and uh, very ambitious oops little typo there anyway you get the idea you can give that you can wait your symptoms right <clears throat> and now save again with the disk icon so what we haven't done yet, obviously, is add any rubrics for those symptoms. So F2 opens your navigation window. 
Command F2 gets rid of the table of contents. Uh, you can get to the same place with the binoculars, but it's you know one stage more. And then you can just start typing for a symptom and use the equals key to add that to the currently selected clipboard. That's defined by the little tick there. <coughs> so uh, F2 again and go to another chapter. Eyes, black spots, floating. Right, we got there. And then again, if you wanted to change the intensity, hold down shift, press the equals key, and give it a weight. Okay, and then Alt will select another clipboard because I'm going to use a different repertory for this next clipboard. So, um, Command 1 to open your repertories, start typing the author, choose the repertory itself, and ambition, that's the one, equals key, F2, go back in to the navigation, and the other one, failure, add that one there, and alt click on another key, uh, clipboard, and then I'll just close that repertory, finish with that one, so I'll get rid of that. <coughs> and then what I want to do next is one more from the dreams section, unremembered. Okay, and um, you can see the path of the rubric there, it's the one I want. I don't need to go into the repertory, so I'm going to hold the shift equals key there and that will go in straight from there so one less um, step to take so F8 will open all those clipboards if I just click on one I'll see each individual clipboard F8 will do them all um, if you click on the drop down uh, uh, there we go so that's F8 okay so there's a list of possible remedies. <coughs> the next thing to do is to go back to the patient file and click on save changes. And there it is. Analysis saved. Next time your patient comes for a follow-up, you can just click on the add a new consultation and start again. Okay, hopefully with good results. Anyway, thanks for your time and that's it for now.